In September 2023, Auto Aviation revealed their new concept, the Celera 800L, on their website. It is a business jet with nine seats in the passenger cabin. This aircraft builds upon its predecessor, the Celera 500L, which was an aircraft so unique that it got the world talking. At present, there is not much detail about the newer iteration of the aircraft other than a rendered video. From the images, it is clear that while the Celera 800L borrows its prolate spheroid fuselage shape from its predecessor, but that is where the similarity stops. Unlike the 500L, which had straight wings, the 800L has swept wings. The 500L had a single rear-mounted propeller. The 800L, on the other hand, has two jet engines that are cantilevered to the rear of the fuselage. The 500L in its empennage had an upper and lower vertical fin. The 800L uses a conventional T-tail configuration. The Celera 800L will take the advantage of laminar flow but will have a higher cruise speed. The term used for this later version is transonic super laminar or TSL design. Laminar flow in aviation is considered the holy grail because it offers the potential of improvement in an aircraft fuel usage, range or endurance that far exceed every other technology. In principle, if flow over 80% of the wing is laminar, then overall drag could be reduced by 25%. Although the introduction of Celera 800L is interesting, it is also disheartening to see that auto aviation has removed all the details of the Celera 500L from its website. This can be an indication of not continuing the aircraft. Auto claims that through the 500L, it achieved all the goals it set out to achieve, which included a 59% drag reduction. Auto Aviation conducted around 55 test flights, which had started from 2017, but were kept under wraps. Only in 2020, the company revealed its flight footage for the first time to the world. It now looks like that the 500L, an aircraft that showed so much promise, will not go into production. Interestingly, Auto Aviation had earlier plans for a 20% larger aircraft, which it called the Celera 1000L. They had stated that the technology is not scalable and it would be difficult for laminar flow to be achieved on an aircraft larger than the 1000L. In June 2022, an announcement was made for the Celera 750L. This was a 19-seat hydrogen-powered aircraft that could be operated on flights up to 1,000 nautical miles. For the 750L, Zero Avia, a British-American hydrogen electric aircraft developer, was to provide the ZA600 hydrogen electric powertrain as an alternative propulsion system to the Red A03 diesel engine that was being used for the 500L. For the latest iteration, that is the 800L, the term transonic superlaminar flow has been used. This indicates that the aircraft will operate in a speed range that is close to the speed of sound. Typical speeds for a transonic aircraft are greater than 250 miles per hour, but less than 760 miles per hour. Not many specifications have been provided for the 800L, but the cruising speed of 500 miles per hour has been mentioned. It is important for transonic aircraft to have swept wings. The main reason for it is the compressibility of air, a factor that becomes more prominent as the speed increases. The swept wing allows the Mach number of an aircraft to be higher than that actually experienced by the wing. In other words, due to the sweep, the flow slows down relatively. This happens because as the air hits the leading edge, it is easier for it to follow the leading edge for a bit towards the wingtip before leaping over to the top of the wing surface. This, however, brings with it a challenge as it induces a lateral velocity component in the air passing over the wing. This sideways component disturbs the boundary layer and pushes it towards instability and thus turbulence. So it is clear that achieving laminar flow through smoother surfaces, which is called natural laminar flow, is difficult 
over the swept wings of the Celera 800L. There has to be some kind of active control mechanism. One has to remember that the NASA X-21A was the first aircraft to achieve laminar flow with swept wings. It did it with the section technique. The wing had a multiple series of span-wise slots, 800,000 in total, through which turbulent boundary layer was sucked in, resulting in smoother laminar flow. It is very likely that the Celera 800L would use a combination of both natural laminar flow and laminar flow control technology. The latter uses active methods like placement of bumps or suction slots or cooling surfaces to keep the boundary layer orderly. On Auto Aviation's website, the use of smooth surfaces on the aircraft has been mentioned. On the same webpage, certain research articles that indicate more active methods of laminar flow control are also shown. Thus, the Celera 800L is likely to have hybrid laminar flow technology, which is the combination of both active and natural method. It has to be mentioned that aviation enthusiasts were excited about the prospect of the Celera 500L materializing. There were several reasons for this. First and foremost was the low operational cost because of the use of an internal combustion diesel engine. However, it seems now they won't be getting their wish and might have to wait for the 800L. How long before the Celera 800L takes to the skies is anybody's guess. No dates have been announced for its route map to certification and delivery. We will keep you posted with the developments about this aircraft as they become available. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.